Hello world, this is Random Fix, and it's that time of the year where people are going to go outside and they're going to go to start their vehicle, only to find out the vehicle does not start because the battery is bad and the cold kills batteries. The cold is a battery killer. So Top Don reached out to me and said, hey Random Fix, do you want to go ahead and try out this Bluetooth battery tester? And it works for 6 volt and 12 volt vehicles. And I said, what the heck, let's go ahead and try it out because my regular battery charger looks like this and it works but it's a little clunky and big and I like Bluetooth and I like being able to sit inside the vehicle and test some of the different components not have to get an additional person to help me out as I crank the car so this is definitely going to be a fun video and let's go ahead and try this out Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. So we got the Bluetooth battery tester here from Top Dawn. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the box. We're going to hook it up to the vehicle. And it's very easy to hook up. All you want to do is hook up the positive to the positive terminal of your battery. The negative to the negative. And we can see that the unit has power. And since this is app based, all I have to do is go down into the Google Play Store and download the application. Or you can get this from your iOS store and hit open. And this is the application right here. You want to go ahead and connect that little Bluetooth icon right there. And the little Bluetooth icon up top lets me know that I'm connected. And since this is Bluetooth and not a wire connection like this, all I want to do is go ahead and grab some information off the battery before I go into my vehicle. So you want to grab the cold cranking amps or amp power off the battery. And, and we can see here that this is a 70 amp hour battery and I can use a Google calculator. And lets me know that this has about 750 cold cranking amps. Most batteries are going to be in cold cranking amps. Let's go inside the vehicle now and test out all the different functions. And hit start. Very first thing you want to do is select your battery type. So on most vehicles, they have a flood acid battery. This is a regular battery that you find on most conventional vehicles. Mine happens to be an AGM battery. And if you have an Optima or red, yellow top, red top battery, those are going to be the spiral ones up here. They have gel and EFB as well. So we're going to choose the flat plate AGM. And we're going to go with cold cranking amps. And we're going to select cold cranking amp since it does not have amp hours. Choose your battery capacity. And hit next. And now we're going to go ahead and get a readout from the battery. So it's going to give me the battery voltage. And also the battery health. The tested value. As well as the internal resistance. So this is all great information. I can go ahead and share this information if I wanted to. Maybe I had a potential buyer and I want to share this info with them. Or I worked at a shop. I could do it that way too. And we have some other tests here on the app as well. So we have a cranking test. We have the battery test that we did. And we have a charging system test. So that was pretty cool. But this battery on my Mercedes is actually going to be my auxiliary battery. So I want to test the starter battery if I'm going to go ahead and do a crank test or a charging system test. And the way you do that on a vehicle that doesn't have the, the engine battery in the front of the vehicle, they have these little jump ports. So this is for my vehicle. You can go ahead and attach the lead from the positive to here. And with that positive cable connected to my actual starter battery and not my auxiliary battery, we can go ahead and test the battery that starts the engine, which is actually going to be located underneath my foot area. So this is kind of nice that I don't have to take all this apart as well. So we got the app here. We're under the cranking test. And let's go ahead and wait for the app. And it lets us know to start the vehicle. We're going to say OK, and we are going to start it. And here are the results. So the test showed normal, 
and that was my cranking voltage which was 12.41 remember you want to be above 9.6 volts and it had a cranking time of 3960 milliseconds again I can share that and lastly let's go ahead and try out this charging function here it says turn off all accessories and keep the engine RPM at 2500 RPM for more than five seconds And there we go. We have a nice normal system here. It lets me know that the load voltage is 13.76. Everything checks out. Again, I can share that. So, And you get this all from the comfort of your vehicle. And again, this is pretty cool that I don't have to get somebody else to assist me with this. As normally this takes two people. One person needs to go stand under the hood and look at the gauge. And the other person needs to come in here. And crank the engine as you are watching the gauge so this was definitely helpful okay guys now that we've tested out the top Don Bluetooth battery tester and everything worked out really well and I'm quite happy with this and I would definitely recommend this to you guys and I want to hear from you guys what did you guys think about this is this something that you guys can imagine yourself using did you guys like the functions it provided and do you like some of the app based products like this or do you like these old mechanical systems better? Please comment down below. If I do find any special pricing available for this unit, I'll leave it in the video description down below. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing as it would really help me out and mean the world to me. If the video is helpful, give the video a thumbs up. And as a final tip, when you're using this, what I would highly recommend is making sure you get a really nice clean connection. And this isn't like attaching a small wire it really does go and test the battery capacity so you want to make sure you get a good grip on the jumper port or the battery terminal when you're using this because when I first got this I wasn't getting the results I wanted and it wasn't any fault to the product it was just my connections so make sure you get a good connection take that extra minute and remove the cover and get access here or if you can get it on the actual terminal itself and remember some of these terminals are made out of lead make sure you wash your hands make it a great day and thanks again